Good day YouTube, Stormy Scent is back again for part number two of Let's Play Ape Escape 1, or Ape Escape just without the one perhaps, but anyway, in this part we are going to be going into Dinosaur Valley. Now as I pointed out in the earlier part, uh, we don't have a cutscene here do we? Okay we don't, good. Now as I pointed out in the previous part, we are not able to complete this 100% yet because we need a certain gadget in order to do that, so I will be getting that gadget in due course, uh, in fact quite soon, possibly in about possibly even the next part come to think of it or even in this part if I'm really quick but this yeah this is Dinosaur Valley uh this is a pretty cool level I must say uh, I was never a big fan of it when I was younger and it's probably not one of my favorite levels in the game just because you can like I, I think I used to always fall off the edges for some reason even even though that's kind of hard to do I, I always used to manage to, to do that all the time so in that regard that's why this level was kind of annoying for me but Yep, here you go. I, I was a pretty dumb kid, but um, first monkey is over here for us. Uh, the monkey, which we cannot capture right... Okay, thank you for doing that. The monkey, which I was going to say we cannot capture right now, is... Uh, well, it was like... Well, I'll actually show you where it is. I, I won't go into the area, but I'll show you where it is exactly. Now, it is over here. Thank you. Right over here, if we go in there then we f we see this like uh, switch which we can't activate yet we need the slingshot in order to do that so we will be doing that in due course as I say but uh, anyway here's our second monkey so as you can see these like monkeys will just come out of oh god oh god oh shit okay I hate those things oh good yell right yes um I remember actually a, a little story about the those enemy or rather these enemies here is that I remember uh, when I was playing this game when I was back you know in my youth in Birmingham I remember my grandmother was watching me play it and uh, it's like one of them was about to shoot me but I caught the last monkey just before it shot me and I ended up leaving the level and I remember my grandmother was saying to me because uh, if you ever notice about when you like defeat those enemies they have a really shocked face on them so when I was leaving the level um, it, had, it was like frozen on that face and my grandmother said to me oh look he's shocked because you left the level or something which was quite nice so yeah she said that but this is like quite shortly before she passed away as well because at that time she had cancer and was like kind of um, chair ridden so to speak she used to have to sit down a lot and all of that so yeah it's kind of a poignant thing in that regard but it's just a small memory I have and that's kind of like a little nostalgic thing that I have towards this game in that regard so I just thought I'd tell that story there but anyway now we're gonna get our uh, Spectre coin here so it's our third Spectre coin um, there were like a bunch of things that were going on there uh, which I didn't even point out but I don't know I'm just so, I'm just so excited there's like so much so many things for me to say about this game you know that I'm just excited to be doing it again because uh, yeah we have to avoid that pterodactyl first of all so that's not gonna be fun we have to avoid going into the nest of the pterodactyl in particular otherwise it will try to pick you up and then it will like throw you off somewhere but luckily we did that successfully and caught the monkey. Now we go into this area with the giant T-Rex and uh, yeah this is I remember when I was younger this this whole area was really like I wouldn't say uh, yeah, kind of intimidating to be honest it kind of like freaked me out a bit but uh, I'm getting kind of it's, it's slightly laggy here because there's like so much going on what the hell was that? God yeah anyway there's <laughs> so much going on that uh, I guess it lags the game slightly but uh, we got an extra life there our first extra life of the game uh, over here we can um, get, if, if you want to complete the level earlier, you just go off and get that monkey there, but I'm probably just going to defeat the T-Rex instead, just to make things easier for myself when I do a backtracking part for this level in particular. Now, in order to defeat this guy, you have to make him charge into the thing like that, and um, his health, so to speak, is signified by the uh, colour of the monkey's helmet. Now, as you can see, the colour of the monkey's helmet is... Oh! Oh, I caught him! I didn't know you could do that! Oh, that's fucking awesome. Oh my god. I actually caught him when he was on the T-Rex. I had no idea you could even do that. That is cool. Okay. Right, so, a momentous occasion just occurred in part two of this Let's Play, so what a fantastic beginning for us, but anyway, yeah, so, stage clear, um, we can't return to that stage until we get the slingshot, so I'll see you uh, for, you know, whenever we do that, and that'll probably be a backtracking part, or either a backtracking part, or I'll stick it on to the end of another part, or something like that, but anyway, now, 
we're going to go into Jungle River. This is quite a long level, but f and we're not able to complete it 100%, so in that regard, I uh, that's actually kind of good, because I can't really be bothered going through this whole thing, because it's a very big level, but yeah, we've already, we've already completed the first era of the game, which was the prehistoric era, I believe. Yes, so now, into the Cenozoic era we go, and we get an extra uh, gadget here, which is the Monkey Radar. Again, I'm just going to talk over this, because... The professor just explains the most basic things about it, which you can kind of monkeys. guess what it does. And uh, this thing in particular will tell you where a monkey dreams. is, but luckily for me, I know where practically all of the monkeys are in this game, apart from maybe a few, but I have a fairly good idea, so we should be fine in, in that regard. So, uh, yeah, we have to go into the training for the monkey radar, of course, but that won't take too long, and uh, then we will be in Jungle River before you know it. So. Uh, Jungle River is quite, uh, I guess, for me it's kind of like a pivotal level in the game, just because it's so long, it, it really was ingrained in my mind, I remember, so, yeah, but uh, what we do is we have to obviously step on the box, which is the correct box, and, and that is signified by which box has the monkey in it, and the monkey radar will tell us which box has the, well, I guess fake monkey in it, and uh, there you go. And uh, there's one more which we need to get, I believe, yes, and it is over here, there we go. So, it, it's very, very straightforward, of course, and there's not really much to explain, I suppose. Uh, you can actually, or, yeah, you can attack with this thing if you, like, do that little thing there, so that's interesting. And, yeah, that's all you have to do, that's that's the whole training for the monkey radar, just, it's pretty straightforward, and... So, well, I, I, and as I was gonna... Okay, fine. A period called the Cenozoic era. It is a period after the dinosaurs became extinct. There shouldn't be any human life, but I've somehow confirmed evidences of civilization. If this isn't the work of the monkeys, it will be a great discovery for science. I'd really like to investigate this matter, but we must first find the monkeys. Oh yes, you may, you may have already noticed. But it's easier to catch the monkeys if you approach them without being noticed by laying low or hiding. Basically, you won't be noticed as much if you lay low rather than standing still without moving. I hope this helps. Well, I'm counting on you. Everyone in the lab, how's it going? My name is Spectre. I'm the conqueror of the new Earth and the leader of the monkeys of the new age. You? Aren't you the monkey from earlier? What's going on here? Spectre, aren't you the little monkey that performed at the amusement park? What? He's that cute white monkey that everyone loved. Well, I don't remember. What I can say is that I've acquired distinguished knowledge and great power. I owe it to you, Professor, for inventing the helmet. Listen well, Spector. It is true that a peak point helmet you've acquired will exert your dormant knowledge when it's worn. It may even make you a genius. However, it is still incomplete and is very dangerous to use right now. I advise you to return the peak point helmet right away. Incomplete? It's a wonderful invention. It's too late now anyway. We've already made a new peak point helmet ourselves. Mine is a special product with increased capacity. Anyway. I'm going to send in my comrades and monsters to various periods to rewrite the history of Earth. No longer will humans be the dominant species. I'm going to conquer the world. Don't try to stop me. I'm going to relentlessly attack whomever tries to get in my way. What are you talking about? Spike will easily catch you all. Right, Spike? Oh, yes, Spike. I've prepared a good playmate for you. Buzz! Spike! I've been thinking of settling things with you someday. Listen, I'm going to beat you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Why? Why is Buzz there? And what's happened? You're totally different. 
Buzz, pull yourself together. Can you hear me? It's no use, Katie. He is being controlled by Spectre. Right you are, Professor. The Buzz you see here isn't the same old Buzz anymore. He has been reborn! Well, everyone at the lab, I will enjoy all of your endeavors. Goodbye! Bloody hell, that took ages to get through all of that, but uh, luckily for me, I should be able to get through Jungle River quite quickly, so the part won't be too gargantuan, hopefully not, but yeah, 6 out of 14 whole monkeys, so that's kind of annoying, but um, we won't have to complete this level 100% for another while, because we need to have, I think it's the propeller in order to do that, because there's a small area which we need to traverse across, which will be uh, done with the propeller in particular. So, this level, yeah, and yeah, I should probably talk about what happened in that cutscene, but uh, all you need to know is that that little kid who was like following us behind and was like kind of looking up to us before, well now he's our sworn enemy and that's kind of sad I suppose, but yeah, a bunch, I remember I used to hate this level because there were wasps in the level and I hate wasps, so that was always annoying, but uh, yeah, this is, as I say, quite, a, a, yeah, I would say a I was gonna say momentous, but that's not the right word, but yeah, a, an integral, pivotal uh, level in this game for me, just because it's the first level of the Cenozoic era, and it's definitely so long that, you know, you'll definitely be um, remembering it. And uh, we got an extra life there just from defeating an enemy, that happens sometimes, I'm not sure if that happens after every, like, ten or so enemies that you defeat. Um, but uh, I I know it does happen sometimes anyway, so that's that's good. So that's why I always defeat enemies because I think it depends on how many enemies you defeat. So if you, it's like possibly every ten enemies or something, kind of like Spyro uh, with the fodder. Um, if you could like if you uh, what was it flame ten fodder, then you get like an extra life on the tenth go. I think it's the same for this game or at least something similar. So that's interesting. But uh, anyway, now we caught our f first monkey there who was like hiding in those um, things, whatever they. Are, and up here we have a nice five chip. We cannot get that spectre coin right about now. We need the propeller in order to do that, so we will ignore it. And um, there's another monkey in this area with, who has a machine gun, so that'll be interesting to catch. Uh, I think he's. Where is he? Yeah, I, I st it's funny, I played this game so much, but I st still am bad at kind of like finding my way through it. So that's uh, yeah, obviously kind of humorous, but. Um, at least this level anyway, this, this level can be kind of hard to find your way through, but as you can see there are two monkeys which hide in those uh, pouch things, so you want to get both of them, so that's uh, two right there, and now this is where the, the uh, monkey with the machine gun is, so uh, I have to be careful with him, thanks for that mailbox, I didn't really want to hear from you. Now, uh, go over here, carefully swipe this piranha pant out of the way, and now... Uh, you still can't see us. Oh shit, now he's seen us. Oh god. Oh crap. Okay, just just screw it. Just Oh god, that was really bad timing, but luckily we didn't fall off. And thank you. Okay, so yeah, and uh, now we go up here, and uh, we go over here, and there's nothing here, so that's great. I thought that there was like a spectre coin on top of one of these things, but apparently not. But anyway, now, um, let's think. We have three out of six monkeys. I guess we'll go into this area here and see what's in it. Uh, I I think this might lead out to the to the actual river part of this area. Yes, it does. And this is where this there's like a huge freaky fish, which used to always creep me out. Uh, that fish like inhabits this area here, and I remember, as I say, it used to always creep me out when I was younger. So uh, I'm not, and even now, I'm not looking forward to facing it again. Oh god, look at that thing! It's it's really creepy, I tell you. But anyway, ignoring that, uh, we're gonna go down here instead of to the. Um, I guess to the left there, well, Spike's right, but our left, but yeah, this is the uh, paddle boat which you use to uh, get across the river, of course, and also it's electric proof or whatever the word for that is. So luckily for us, that fish cannot harm us. I remember, as I said, when I was younger, just getting shocked by that thing which just creeped me out, so yeah, but the reason why I wanted to go over here is because we have a Spectre coin, which we want to pick up, of course, so that's our, uh, what is it, our fourth Spectre coin, possibly? If you check our status, uh, okay, well, that doesn't tell us anything, so that's fantastic. Now, up here, I believe, 
uh, yeah, there's a monkey up there which we cannot get at the moment. We need, once again, the slingshot in order to get him. So we will come back, well, once we get the preparator, we'll be able to come back and get him. So that will be in a much later part. Now we go down here again, and uh, now we're going to paddle our way to uh, wherever the next monkey is. And, of course, it is kind of awkward to control this thing. Remember, I used to have such a difficult time when I was younger controlling it. I still do now. Uh, in controlling this thing, but uh, okay, come on, that's it. Yes, thank you. So we have to use the analog sticks and rotate them uh, backwards, and uh, well, either backwards or forwards, and uh, it will enable you to um, go well in the direction you need to go, of course. And now, and when you try to turn it, it like kind of like just fucks up a bit. So come on. Oh god, this is really annoying. And you can defeat that fish, by the way, if you um, use slingshot bullets on him. But, uh, I won't be... Well, obviously I don't have the sink shot now, so I can't defeat him. But anyway, come on. That's it. Almost away from him. Come on. Oh, yeah, okay. Now, that's it. Yes, thank you. That took a while, but we're into this area now. And up here, we have another monkey. And we can get this one, fortunately for us. And we can get him with a stun club. In fact, can I catch him like that? Okay, no, I can't. So I have to knock him down first. So there we go. Thank you. And that is monkey number four. Now we go down... Yeah, and uh, I think I can ignore the paddle boat now because uh, the fish can't follow us up that stream there because uh, I don't know why exactly, but uh, I know that it can't, so we just uh, swim away from them as such. And now we go over here and uh, we'll be using uh, the 360 spin with this stun club, which is quite a useful technique to use, especially for when you have like these like draw bridges like, like that. So uh, we get all the uh, cookies and stuff here. Thank you. Okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Now, uh, we go into this here, and then we spin that open as such, and then I, I keep on doing it because I think it makes it so that it stays like that for another few seconds, well, at least in the other games it does, but not in this game, clearly. But yeah, uh, we go over here, catch this monkey here, and that's monkey number five, and then we come out here, and I believe we get um, another monkey almost immediately, and then that will be level clear, but obviously not all clear, unfortunately. But, uh, okay, there's another creepy fish there, but not as creepy as the other one, and, uh, I could have swore there was another monkey near here, but apparently not, but anyway, yeah, as you can see, this level is very, very big, and just the amount of creativity they put into this game, and, like, the effort, it really should have received even more acclaim than it did, even though it did get universal acclaim, um, it, it still isn't, like, seen, like, I don't think in the same kind of regard as Spyro or Crash are. I, I think Spyro is kind, kind of is on par with it, but Crash, I think, is a bit better than, in my opinion. But that's just me, anyway. Anyway, now we're going to go up here. and I think we go through here that we find that monkey I was talking about. But then again, if we go up here as well, we find another monkey. So it's really just a matter of choice. And then we'll be able to exit the level. And uh, then we'll come back much later on in order to complete the level 100%. And this is quite an interesting level to complete 100% for that matter. But uh, there's a monkey over there. But we'll catch this one since he's probably the easiest one to catch out of all of them. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Okay, thank you. Oh, crap. Nope, no, no. Get down from there. Nope. No, no, bad. Okay, that's it. Oh crap! Oh crap! Uh, he's he's climbing the air. That's that's genie. You can't climb the air. What is he doing? Bloody! What the hell? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, now I think he's no. He's he's climbing the. What? How does that work? Okay, well, whatever. Take that. Oh, can I? I can't even get him now, can I? Come on. I I don't think I don't think I can get him. That is really annoying. Shit! I can't get this monkey now because he's like done that. Like, let's see here. Okay. Thank you! <laughs> That's, that was a really strange glitch right there, but... Anyway, stage clear, and uh, that's the first level of the Cenozo Cenozoic Era done, and th that's the end of this part, so another kind of long part for us there, but... There you go, I just, I'm just i making these parts longer, I suppose. I, I would have wanted this part to be shorter, but because You're we had good. that really long cutscene with Spectre and all of that, that's what made it quite a, a bit longer in the end, but... Yeah, so, uh, we're going to go on to, I think it is Dark Ruins next, so until then, thank you for watching, and bye-bye.